Hey y'all. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> hey guys. Hey everybody. Uh, so I'm Brian with Bomivant Imports and you know, we're out in the middle of Wyoming right now and I've got <laughs> I've got a cool guy with me. This is Alex Marco. Hi guys. How are you from doing? From Somontano in Spain, northern Spain, um, kind of just underneath the Pyrenees Mountains. And we looked out and there's the Tetons right behind us. And yeah. we were driving and I said, yeah, let's, let's record a video about my wines here. Let's, let's make a video about his wines. Yeah, with the cars coming here, but it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> if you hear car noises and you can't hear us very well, who cares? Whatever. It's, it's okay. This is about wine, no cars. Exactly. <laughs> so Alex is from Somontano, which uh, basically sits underneath just the amazing Pyrenees Mountains that separate Spain from France, yes? Yeah, it's the highest mountains in Spain. And it's a really beautiful view. Like we have just here and it's always snow. And we have a pretty cool wines that we elaborate 700 meters above the sea level, which is in feet like... Uh, 700 meters. Yeah, we don't know what <laughs> <laughs> you say that. Times that by like three-ish. It's very high. Yeah, it's very, very high. Very so high. we try to, we, ca we are called Vinos Divertidos, which in, mean, in English means fun wines. Fun wines, Vinos Divertidos. Yeah, that's correct. And we are trying to recover indigenous graves in Spain, which are in danger of extinction and trying to dress the bottle like with fun labels and kind of soaking names that we are gonna find out, right? Yeah, yeah right now. <laughs> so let's let's show you what these wines are. Bon Vivant, we just picked these up um, really recently, so they're brand new in the country, excited to have them. And the first one is... Cojon de Gato. Cojon de Gato. <laughs> Between cat balls. Cat balls. Cat balls, yeah, you, you're so very right. Don't, don't think of it as too dirty, but uh, basically it's about the grape. It's kind of like cat balls. Yeah, I don't know. There is a grape in my region. Like, it was in danger of extinction, really big, rounded, and yeah, that's <laughs> the name of the cat balls. So the cat ball is the name of the grape. Cojon de gato. With, it's a wine with cojones. <laughs> and so what all, what all is in this? Well, this is a blending between cojon de gato, merlot, and syrah. And it's a, it's a three months in French oak barrel, and it's really fruity. So it's really, it's a, it really easy to drink wine. Sometimes dangerous. Beautiful, high acidity, lots of minerality to it. These wines to me always have beautiful minerality yeah. and really cool acidity. So this wine, even though you have this Merlot and you have the Syrah, the Cohen de Gato just brings out this really neat little cat ball note. Yeah, at the end uh, is the sweetness gross. provided by the cat balls. So you have to taste it. <laughs> so next wine. Yeah, ah. this one. La Moristel. La Moristel. Uh, if you just compare this label with the mountains that are yeah, here, check it out. Yeah. Check it out. You're gonna. You're, it's gonna be seamless. <laughs> Boom. Seamless. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah. These mountains are actually the Pyrenees, and as you can see in the picture, in the label, they are really similar to these mountains here. And uh, La Moristel. This is the name of another variety in danger of extinction. Oh, come out in the sunlight. You look better. Oh, in the sun. Yeah. yeah, yeah nice. <laughs> so. We are the first winery in Spain that are making wine with 100% Moristel, so it's really a unique wine. So you have to taste it. We only have 5,000 vines in the in my region, so it's just a really small production. It's really unique. And I am super geeking out on this wine right now because it's got so much freshness, high acidity, lots of beautiful fruit. Um, these guys farm all organically. They use very, very little sulfur in their wines. Um, just beautiful. And they're working with these indigenous varietals. I mean, these guys are the only ones who actually use 100% Moristel. So you have to take it out, guys. Not to be confused with Monastrel, which is the Morved grape from France. No. Not, not Monastrel. Monastrel is from Alicante, Valencia, and this is from Aragon, so it's, you can only find Moristel in, in this region. Boom. All right. Okay, so next one. <sighs> this is Garnacha de San Stream. See it? See it? It's desert. It's extreme. It's desert. It's extreme. And this is 100% uh, Garnacha. But this Garnacha is a little bit uh, different because it's situated 700 meters above the sea level once again which is a high altitude if we compare with another Garnacha plantation that are usually in a lower position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, this has eight months in oak barrel and it has a high tannins. It's really, it's perfect to pair with red meat, steaks. It's got killer fruit. It's got lots of cool tannin, very grippy, but still with some freshness, some easy drinking. All of these are really just great sitting down at the table with great food, good friends, good people. Good company and it's about fun. Maybe some whiskey. That for later. <laughs> Next. Okay, so this is the last one. This is Ojo de Liebre. You see the label? Mm. As you see, it's a hair. It's the A of the hair. 
This in English means a the eye, the, the eye of the hare. I a yeah, whatever. I, I get it. I accent, get it. Spanish so accent. It's the the eye of the the rabbit, which big hair, big yeah, hair. It's her. Ah. So uh, this is because the Tempranillo variety in the some regions in Spain they are known as ojo de liebre, the eye of the hare. So we are making wine with ojo de liebre and uh, gra garnacha. But this garnacha is different from the previous one because it's a little bit over matured, which provides a point of liquors, licorice and sweetness. Yeah. And, and it's, it's awesome. It has this beautiful long finish with this rich quality to it, but then this amazing dry, dry tannic finish. It's, it's awesome. It's got so much kind of distinct character from the mountains and it just feels rustic, very rustic. And although it has 12 months in oak barrel, the fruit predom predominates over the oak because we try to make uh, fruity wines that are really, really easy to drink and sometimes it can be dangerous, right? But very dangerous, <laughs> but fun danger. Yes. So, so this is so this is Vinos Divertidos, fun wines from Somontano to here. Alex Marco, he's the son of Pepe Marco, and it's his family family estate. Uh, yeah, we are a small uh, family business, so it's pretty awesome. Yeah. So I hope you find these wines. Go check them out. Look for them. Find out these the, you know these these uh, labels are easy to spot on a shelf. Oh yeah. That's and sure. the price is awesome. All of these sit under twenty dollars on the shelf. It's fantastic. Enjoy everybody. And it's part of the fun. It's part of the fun. <laughs>